Hello Aries, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of August 5th through the 12th, 2019. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Franz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the... Ooh, okay. That's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, So, we got the moon card here. So, I do feel like I heard feelings. So, I do feel like somebody's secret is getting ready to come out. Possibly to do with feelings, okay? Uh, pretty soon, okay? The Atlantis means pretty soon for me. I do feel like um you got spirit angels, spirit guides. I do feel like it could be friends that's close to you. I do feel like they have been hinting on this, okay? <clears throat> um, so it seems like somebody may be holding you back from where you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be going, okay? I do feel like somebody's holding you back, all right? Holding you back, holding you down, or you could be just sacrificing something that you need to be doing to save someone else, all right? Sirens, so I do feel like, yeah, everybody's telling you, um, what's going on, what's, I mean, I do feel like they're giving you good advice, um, I... I feel a lot of, sorry, the window's open. I almost burnt this place down, so the dogs are very sensitive right now. Uh, but I do feel like um, there's a lot of people talking to you, trying to let you know or open your eyes to what's going on, okay? Um, so I do feel like a bit of self-sacrifice is going on here, all right? All right, so I do feel like this could be for another person, okay? I feel like whoever this person is, it could be a person at work. A person at school, um, a person at church, but I do feel like you may be given something of yours to help someone else, okay? And I do feel like somebody or something is telling you that this may not be the right thing to do, right way to go, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, what's going on with the Aries? So I or sort of a little bit feel like um, maybe both of you guys are in a relationship or you are and they aren't, okay, the person at work or school, I do feel like they may be trying to sabotage something that you got, okay, or since you're not in a relationship, I do feel like they may be trying to, like, boss you around and keep you that way, okay, but I do feel like a lot of friends and family is trying to warn you about all this. All right, yeah, so we got the arrogant card reversed here, so I do feel like somebody may be trying to put you down, hold you down, hold you back, okay, big time. And then I feel like this person is not nice to you either, and I feel like that's one of the reasons the people on the outside know of it is because this person, whoever this is, is disrespecting you a bit, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. So this could be you doing this too, and I'm like, Aries... Aries usually don't let that happen, but it's happening. All right. So we got the ritual card here. So I do feel like whatever this is, is happening. It happens over and over and over. And I do feel like um, you might be, uh, you might have left someone or someone left you and somebody's waiting for that person to come back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So too much is hidden from you. So, this makes me feel like somebody is dealing with their ex, thinking about their ex, or something is going on with someone's ex here. Mm. Sneaking around. Um, but this also makes me feel like somebody that you're dealing with, talking to, um, they may be dealing with their ex, but I feel like you are too. Okay? I feel like you may be having some kind of contact with them, but I feel like the contact is more strong with the person you're dealing with. So it seems like both of you guys are thinking about or talking to or still connected to other people, okay? Mm. Okay, so I do feel like your ex is still trying to do for you, okay? I do feel like they're still trying to send you messages. Um, This could be the other way around too. Um, I do feel like they still send you messages, send you gifts, uh, encouragement. Okay. Mm, let's see what this siren card is for the Aries. Mm, 
keep going, keep it moving, okay? Yes, definitely. So both of you guys are dealing with your exes, but of course you know your exes are exes for a reason. Get out the window. Sorry. Um, your exes are exes for a reason, so if you go back, you're going to go back to the same reason you left, okay? Nothing's changed. All right. Ooh, yep. Um... So this makes me feel like all the ex might have been doing is giving gifts. And I do feel like your energies, your angels, your friends are trying to let you know like, hey, this ex is no good. Okay. You know, they do all this crazy stuff to you. Then they buy your car. Okay. Or they buy your ring or PlayStation or whatever. But they would only give you gifts to try to smooth over whatever they did. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't get time back, y'all. All right, so, uh-oh, yeah. So it seems like this secret is getting ready to come out, okay? So I do feel like one of you guys may have taken a gift from this ex, and I do feel like it's getting ready to come out to the current person. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so basically, you may want to cut that out, okay? All right, yes. So we got this baggage card here. So it's basically like, yeah, you got a lot of baggage, baggage going on. The person you're dealing with got a lot of baggage going on because y'all still connected to exes. Um, there are exes sending presents and gifts, um, possibly just sending messages of them letting you know that they really care about you and all that kind of stuff, trying to make you feel good. All right, but I do feel like, oh, y'all exes is going to ruin this current relationship, okay? All right, unless you let them go, let them go. But your partner is still dealing with the ex, and there's nothing you can deal, do about that. Okay, so we got the freedom card here. So it's, oh, get out the window. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, so we got the freedom card here. So it, it is somebody's getting ready to stop dealing with someone. Okay, maybe someone stop about to stop dealing. I'm about to, I don't know what to do. Somebody is about to stop dealing with everybody. Okay, be good. Okay, cut it out. Okay, be good. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Aries. Get out the window. Oh my god, she like looking for a reason to start barking. Go lay down. All right, what's going on with the Aries? Aries love reading for August 5th through the 12th. Get out the window. Sorry. 2019. What's going on with the Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. All right, so we got the Ace of Cups here. So I do feel like some kind of new love, new passion is getting ready to come in. Um, and I heard renewal too. So, oh my gosh, this makes me feel like somebody's getting ready to renew their care. Okay, and renew their love, renew the passion in a relationship. Um, but the thing is, is this could be with the ex or this could be with the current partner. But I do feel like some renewal is getting ready to come in. Oh my gosh, she won't get out the window. <laughs> All right, so we got the two of wands. Yep. So somebody's getting ready to renew a relationship with someone from the past, okay? That's what this two of wands, and somebody's thinking about it right now. Um, what am I going to do? And with this two of wands, to me, represents somebody coming from the past. Yes, third-party situations going on here. Both of you guys are connected to your exes, okay? Still connected. So we got the death card here. So I do feel like some ending, some changes, but it's all about who, okay? Um, yeah. Let's see what this two of wands is. Give me one card, please, for the Aries. It sucks. I got to close this window. She won't get out of it. Um, yes. Yeah, so we got the strength card here. So somebody's trying to be strong. I do feel like somebody's trying to be strong and move forward um, from this ex, but somebody definitely... I feel like somebody's still in love with their ex, big time. I can't even say nothing else. I do feel like somebody tried to start over new. Um, I do feel like both of you guys may be still in love with your exes. Of course, one more than the other, okay? 
Let's see what's going on with this Three of Cups. All right, yep. So, Four of Wands reverse. So, it seems like that's where most of the instability in this relationship is coming from. Is because you both are still connected to other people. Okay? You both are still emotionally connected to other people. Okay? Oh, wow. Okay, so I heard years. So, this makes me feel like some of you guys have been together for years and you're still connected to, to the exes. Goodness. Okay. Let's see what this death card is. One card, please. Oh, wow. All right, so it seems like somebody's getting ready to uh, send somebody a, a, a relationship ending, okay? Some kind of termination of an affair or some kind of relationship. Somebody's about to dump someone through the mail, through social media, okay? That's what I feel like is getting ready to happen here. All right, so we have the Father of Wands here. So this makes me feel like, yeah, somebody's getting ready to get some more passion from a freedom, from a new life, from a new person, okay? And yeah, of course, these, I mean, in my opinion, when you like leave one relationship and start another one like right away or while you still holding on to an old relationship, things aren't going to work right. They're not going to work out right because you still got that little piece inside of you like, dang, I was still with somebody else when I was with this person. What if this person did this to me? What if this person lied to me? And it's like a whole lot of projection through the whole situation and it won't let things happen right. But that's just my opinion. And let me stop babbling. And that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.